today let's learn about perfect numbers and mersenne primes we'll also be learning the relationship between these two first let's see what we mean by a perfect number let us consider number 6 we first list down the factors of number 6 they are 1 2 3 and 6 now leaving out the 6 itself the sum of the other three factors 1 2 and 3 will result in our original number 6 so 6 is our first perfect number our next perfect number is 28 listing down the factors we have 1 2 4 7 14 and 28 now when we find out the sum of all the factors excluding 28 we get the original number 28 so to generalize perfect number is any positive integer that is equal to the sum of all of its factors except for the number itself though it looks like perfect numbers are very common this is not the actual case the third perfect number is 496 the factors of which are shown here and the fourth perfect number is 8128 the factors of this number are also listed here you could probably add them and verify yourself now let's see another set of special numbers called as mersenne numbers for any number n the value of 2 to the power of n minus 1 is a mersenne number so when n is equal to 2 2 to the power of 2 minus 1 will be 3 when n is equal to 3 2 to the power of 3 minus 1 is 7 when n is equal to 4 2 to the power of 4 minus 1 is 15 similarly the mersenne number for n equal to 5 is 31 when n is equal to 6 the mersenne number is 63 and when n is equal to 7 the mersenne number is 127 and the list goes on now out of the mersenne numbers let us highlight only the prime numbers we can find that the mersenne numbers are prime when n is a prime number so they are called as mersenne primes when n is equal to 2 the mersenne prime is 3 when n is equal to 3 the mersenne prime is 7 when n is equal to 5 the mersenne prime is 31 and when n is equal to 7 the mersenne prime is 127 now let's see what happens when n is equal to 11 the mersenne number is 2047 but this number is not a prime number it also has the factors of 23 and 89 so we can conclude that not all prime numbers will give us mersenne primes but still it's interesting to note that the largest prime numbers found till date were found using the same technique and this largest mersenne prime is written like this and the exact number is said to have more than 24 million digits till date mathematicians have found 50 perfect numbers and 50 mersenne primes this shows that there should be some relationship between mersenne primes and perfect numbers let's get into some details first let us list down the prime numbers as n the corresponding mersenne numbers are also written down as 2 to the power of n minus 1 so that gives us our first four mersenne primes we also know the first four perfect numbers so let us also list them down now let's find out another value 2 to the power of n minus 1 so when n is equal to 2 we find out 2 to the power of 1 which is 2 when n is equal to 3 let's find 2 to the power of 2 which is 
when n is equal to 5, 2 to the power of 4 is 16. When n is equal to 7, 2 to the power of 6 will be 64. Now we can see that the numbers we just found when multiplied with the corresponding Mersenne primes will give us the perfect numbers. So to generalize, for every Mersenne prime 2 to the power n minus 1, we have a perfect number which is the product of 2 to the power of n minus 1 into 2 to the power of n minus 1. If you found this video worth watching, give it a like. Thanks for watching.